Nikki and Brad, and we've been full-time RVing since 2016. Join us and our sidekick Paco as we explore incredible places in the U.S. and beyond. Well, good morning, guys. Good morning. We got up pretty early this morning and drove the truck and trailer up into the, the National Park. Yeah, there's plenty of RV parking up here and we kind of scoped out the scene yesterday just to make sure it wasn't gonna be too busy and it was not. The drive up was amazing. It started out very, very cloudy. We didn't even know if we would have sun up here. But then eventually we broke up through the clouds sure and we enough. were looking down on them. It was gorgeous. So what's great about having the trailer up here is that we've got our home base where we can have Paco and be closer to him. We got him out and we've got all the windows open, all the fans going. He should stay nice and comfortable in there while we go do the Harry's Ridge hike. My feet are still a little sore from the other day, so I'm hoping we can do it all. We'll see how far she gets. <laughs> we'll see. Harry's Ridge Trail is named for Harry Randall Truman, who infamously refused to leave his lodge on Spirit Lake before Mount St. Helens erupted in 1980. He once said, if the mountain goes, I'm going with it. Truman, his beloved cats, and the two popular lakeshore lodges are now buried under several hundred feet of volcanic debris. The volcanic eruption caused a landslide which barreled into Spirit Lake, causing its waters to surge 800 feet up the mountainside, collecting hundreds of trees that had been blasted down and sweeping them back into the lake. Spirit Lake now sits about 200 feet higher due to the avalanche, and a large floating island of trees still moves about its waters. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more quality travel content. And when you're out adventuring, please respect campfire and drone restrictions and always leave your campsite better than you found it.